Today I wanted to eat only traditional Dutch food for 24 hours, so I took a flight to Amsterdam and walked my dog into town. And you know she's gonna get some snacks too. The first thing I saw was a herring stand, so I went for it. They had a wide variety, but I noticed that they sell eel, so I had to get it. I was expecting something stringy and tough, but it was buttery and flavorful. I love it. It was so good, I had to come back the next day. Gotta try the herring too. It's amazing. I would eat it all the time, and it is pumpkin approved. We washed the fish down with a cold one and then headed to the mini golf course. I don't know what they're doing at the mini golf place, but these were the best poppages I've ever had. Next, we headed to the food hall and found some more fish. This time, fried Dutch smelt. These are like french fries on steroids. But it wasn't filling enough, so I headed to a Dutch staple. Fabo. Scan your card, pop open a window, and grab your food. Lecker. Look at that. But I was still so hungry, so I headed to the store. And it's crazy, because they have a whole section for sprinkles. But also, perfect brodje supplies. And you have to try the Dutch cheese, too. It's pretty gouda, if you'd ask me. Anyways, I'm broke, so dinner was stump pot from the store. It's essentially spruced up mashed potatoes, which is as traditional as it gets. When I woke up the next day, I went for the hagelschlag, chocolate sprinkles and butter on bread. Lacquer. But my final Dutch food was the most famous, stroopwafel. After trying all these foods, I can say Dutch cuisine is better than I expected, so that's why 